Hello and welcome to this video introduction to Beacon, the free solution to obtain Bloombrook data directly into MATLAB using the Open Bloombrook API. Before you can use Beacon, you have to download the archive file from the Beacon website. Therefore, please follow the link below. Once it's done, extract the zip file into your specific destination folder, open MATLAB and add the whole folder including subfolders to your MATLAB part. The Beacon folder contains three subfolders, the license folder containing the Bloombrook and Beacon license files, the lib folder with all dependent classes and library files as well as the doc folder where you will find a written manual and some example files. In this video I will show you how to use Beacon following the example2 file. Beacon is written in object oriented MATLAB. Following this paradigm all necessary functions are included in the Beacon class. Before you instance a Beacon object make sure that a bbcom service is running on your local PC. Otherwise, Beacon is not able to build a connection to Bloomberg database. Therefore, following the guideline in the manual or use the attached run bbcom batch file which opens a service listening on port 9500. Please minimize the command window after, don't close it. As you can see, it is very easy to connect to the database. Just instance a Beacon object using the specified port the bbcom server is listening on as a parameter. Please notice the special reference to the restriction of Bloomberg API Bloomberg gives you. Following this, it's not allowed to copy data from the PC the Bloomberg service is running on to another PC. Please keep this in mind. Beacon enables you to obtain data by using one of the five supported request functions. The first and simplest one is a reference data request. Given a specified Bloomberg ticker and a set of fields, Beacon returns you the right at the moment value of each field. Here we get the current stock price as well as the full company name of IBM. To obtain data from previous points in time, a historical data request is to use. In contrast to the reference data, here a time period is needed. In this example, we obtain the historical price as well as the forward PE of IBM. The example also shows how to customize the request. We set the currency to British Pounds, the periodicity to weekly and the PE calculation to 12 months blended forward. All of those parameters are Bloomberg API specific. Therefore, it is recommended to have a look in the Bloomberg Developer's Guide to get a deeper understanding of the customization opportunities. Bloomberg also supports to obtain aggregated price data directly in form of price bars. Connected with the candle function of MATLAB's financial toolbox, this is a simple, quite fast and powerful tool to visualize price data. In this example, we plot a candlestick chart of IBM in 5 minutes intervals. Another terrific feature is the Interday Tick Data Request. It allows you to get tick data up to 140 days in the past. In this example, we obtained 10 minutes of tick data of the 11th of November in 2015. Together with some more simple MATLAB code, we have a powerful opportunity to analyze high frequency trade data very efficiently. To deal with the high frequency trade data usually comes along with a huge amount of data. Alone, this sample contains more than 1600 data points. Beacon handles all the data from Bloomberg as a salary of comma separated string variables. In general, this is very useful for generic data as well as error handling. In order to use those data easily, Beacon brings along a built in parser that enables you to get the data either as a table or a struct. Here, I decided to use a table. As you can see, we got back a variable containing a table with the field names as headers. By some more MATLAB code, we split the tick data into bit, ask and trade information and plot them nicely. This is an easy and fast way to get a first grasp of your high frequency trade data. Lastly, Beacon allows you to obtain the data of your own portfolios. Therefore, you have to use your portfolio ID. You will find it in your PRTU overview. Using the portfolio data request function together with the historical and reference request, it is very simple to create your own portfolio reports or screening tools. Here I implemented a simple portfolio report containing the allocation by equity and the allocation by sector together with the performance of all contained equities. Of course, this is for demonstration purposes only, but I hope you get an idea what is possible by combining those data together with the full power of MATLAB. 
With the Beacon, it's not longer necessary to import your data inconvenient by Excel sheets or the USB files. Hence, you will save a lot of time as well as money, cause Beacon is absolutely free. It does not matter if you use it for research or to improve the workflow in your job.